Hey golf people, new item to review here on the channel. I'm out at the range here, a little late afternoon rain session, and I've got the Rap Soto. Ooh, I don't have a cell phone anymore. Let me show you what this thing can do. So first we'll unbox it, then we'll take it out to the range. Then I'm gonna go through the app and the data that was collected during those sessions, and then I'm gonna give it a final review for you guys. We're gonna test this out, see how accurate it is, and put it through the ringer here on Let's Play Through. Let's do it. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. Playbetter.com is the one who just sent this to me to check out. That's where I get all my golf gear, and you should too, playbetter.com. I will leave a link below. Now, as you know, on this channel, I often play with the G80, the Garmin G80 out on course. I love that little mobile unit. I've also recently checked out the Swing Caddy. I will leave links to both reviews below as well. But today, we're gonna to take a look at this competitor in the space, the mobile launch monitor from Rapsodo. And I'm pretty excited about it, guys because I've heard some pretty amazing things. Plus, it's gotten some great reviews from like My Golf Spy and Golf Digest and all these other places as well. So let's open up the hood here. What's cool about this from what I can see is that it's gonna use my own cell phone. Now, if we look at the box here, here are some of the things that this will do. It's got video playback a shot tracer built into it. That would be really cool. If it actually shows you video with a shot tracer, I'll be impressed. It's got a GPS shot map, smart club recognition. I'll be interested to see how that works. You've got club gapping and a shot library. So probably very similar to the Swing Caddy where you can actually see your shots with the data overlaid in real time. That would be super cool. On the other side, here are some of the measurements that we'll be able to get from this unit. We'll be getting distance, ball speed, club speed, smash factor, launch angle, which is really nice, and launch direction. On the back here, you will see that it will actually overlay the shot data on top of a satellite map of the range that you're using. That's pretty cool. It's time to open up this box and see what's inside. So this is basically just a sleeve right here. How do you open this box? Hmm. I need an instruction on how to open the box. <laughs> does anyone have a, a YouTube tutorial on how to open the box? That tab there does it. There we go, measure to master. That's a pretty good tagline. Get real data and real-time visualization that helps players and coaches make real improvements. Ah, get that out of there. Now, one thing that you get right out of the box that other competitors don't is this nice case. It almost looks like a little case that you would have a range finder in. It's got a nice little clip there for your golf bag and it's got a double zipper, fancy double zipper. And there it is. That's the unit right there. Inside of this, you've got a couple of other goodies. You've got your quick start guide, which we'll take a look at here in a second. You've also got a nice charging cable. This is a really nice charging cable uh, because it's that sort of, what is that? That's like fabric. It's like a fabric one. These types of cords are the ones I always buy for like my iPhone and whatnot. And that's also nice, just to keep the cord nice and neat. It's got a little piece of Velcro. Hey, little touches I appreciate. And it's got a little pouch in there to hold those things. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some netting. It's hard to see. All right, and that's the unit. That's, that's it, man. You put your phone in there and we will start rocking and rolling, I think. So here's the quick start guide. All right, you wanna charge the MLM unit. Allow approximately three hours full of, for a full charge. Well, we don't have three hours because I gotta get to the range tonight and shoot this video. So <laughs> we will, we'll see if it's got some charge out of the box. Download the Rapsodo MLM app. Go to the Apple App Store and search for Rapsodo or Rapsodo. And you know, you kind of stick it in there and see what happens. The alignment's important here. So we're gonna have to align this unit approximately six feet back right on the target line. That's gonna be important. Other than that, I think we don't need that much anymore. Let's see, I've got the app downloaded. Place the mobile device here. Okay. Will it fit there? Huh. 
It does. It kind of fits in there kind of nicely. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the MLM app, and I'm going to go ahead and launch this app. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit sign up. It says register completed right there. And now we're going to say that we've got an account, and I'm going to enter my password, and I'm going to hit next. Let's see if it works. Error, verify your email address. Okay, let's see if we got an email. Boom, confirm registration. There it is, and I'm going to go ahead and activate my account. Happened really quick, I like that. Uh, pop back over here and we're gonna go ahead and log in and see what happens and it says, get started, what is MLM? It's not multi-level marketing. <laughs> Honestly, I think they should change that name. MLM here in the United States means multi-level marketing and that's not what this is. A golf launch monitor utilizes radar in the unit and the camera in your phone to, so it's, it's doing both. It's actually using both the radar in the unit here as well as the camera in my phone. I've actually got three cameras. Fancy, right? Some people have five cameras now. They got those Samsungs. All right, you can overlay your shots on the satellite view of your range. I love that. Place the MLM ground level six to eight feet behind the ball. Okay, so it's a little bit further back than what we used with the swing caddy. And we know the Garmin is basically like 10 or 12 inches from the ball. Ensure the ball and the player are visible in your phone's camera with the margin on the edges. Outdoor or net. Okay, cool. So it looks like you could use this indoors. That's nice to know. Outdoor, you do want eight feet. Okay, wow. It's a long way. All right, using this outdoors, you're going to want this at the height that you're hitting the shot. You don't want it below or above. That's good to know. Hold your club in front of your phone camera for three seconds. The camera needs to see the bottom sole of your club. Once the detection is successful, you will see the animation of the club detect. Whoa, that's crazy. And if it doesn't, then you can manually enter the club you're using. That's cool. So it's using like OCR, optical character recognition, I'm guessing, kind of like scanners use that in the old, back, in, back in the day. All right, here we go. So here's the shot types for a right-handed player. You got a left draw, left, left fade, draw, straight fade, all that stuff. Auto calibration, your mobile device is auto calibrated to the MLM, you are ready to hit. What? You have unlocked a 30 day risk free trial. I'm not sure if you absolutely need that. Um, I think this will work just fine without that, but if you want these bonus features, there's a 30 day trial already, you can kind of see if you like it. All right, that's it for uh, getting this thing set up. Really easy setup, so it's time for us to go out to the range and see what this baby can do. Good news, I powered it on and it's got a little battery, it's red and it's not blinking red, so I think we'll be, we'll be in good shape when we get out there. Turning it off, closing it up, casing it up, heading to the range. So what I love about this device is that the setup is super, super simple. You launch the app, you set a little pin on a map of where you are, you orient the screen to the direction that you're facing, and then you simply open the device, power it on by hitting a button, it powers up immediately, and you place that somewhere between six and eight feet behind you and start hitting shots. I took this out for a few different sessions and I hit a number of shots each time on the range. I will show you that data and we'll break down that data for you here in just a little bit. But I will say, sometimes the club selection automatically worked and sometimes I had to manually input it. Either way, it's probably just easier to do it manually because I found that the automatic club selection, at least with my Mizunos, wasn't all that quick. Sometimes it would eventually get it, but it would have been quicker if I just literally hit the button. The app is very easy to navigate. It also has settings for the type of environment that you're in. So if you are in bright sun or you're in a cloudy day or even nighttime, you can set the appropriate setting there. There's different ways that you can visualize the data. You can get these big numbers on screen that will just show you what the main data points are and what you're doing with each swing. I kept it mostly on video mode so I could literally see a replay of the shot right after I hit the shot. It's about a two second delay and you'll actually get a replay of the shot with the shot tracer. Now I will say that most times the shot tracer was accurate. I would say probably 95% of the time it was accurate. However, on some shots I knew I drew the ball and yet 
The rap Soto told me that I faded the ball and it showed a shot trace that was not correct. Now this might have been because other people were on the range near me and maybe those balls were interfering. I'm not sure. Now the main thing with all of these is the fact that these have to be accurate. And a lot of people are going to ask me, what did I think of the accuracy? Sometimes I saw the distance seemed to be very accurate, but for me most times it looked like the device was anywhere from 5 to 10 yards off. And I'm going to show you that data here in a second, what the Rapsodo told me I was hitting these shots and what I normally hit my shots. And I got to say, I was sort of surprised because it continually had it a few yards less. Now, there are many things that could go into this. It could have been that there was wind on the range. I did test that. There was a little wind in my face. I also tried different positions of the unit. I placed it six feet back, seven feet back, eight feet back. I tried to raise it, lower it. I tried to point it in different directions. Every single time I tried, it seemed like it consistently read my shots a little lower than they were. I don't know if it's my swing. I don't know because I did research on the internet and a lot of people say this is dead on accurate. But for me, when during my testing, I found it to be a few yards short on most shots, almost every shot, in fact. The other thing I'd say is that for the price that you're paying, the fact that you actually have to use your cell phone for it all to work and it doesn't have its own screen is a little bit of a drawback because now I can't use my cell phone for other things like sometimes I hit a few shots and then I text my buddies or I take a video of myself or I do something else out on the range. Now I don't have that available. So that's a little bit of a challenge for me. Now the other thing I'd say is I live in Florida and it gets really hot here and on the third session I had with the Rapsodo, it was the middle of the afternoon, it got really hot here in Florida and my phone actually gave me that warning that says it's going to shut down because it overheated. And so the fact that you've got to use your phone is definitely a drawback for me. But all in all, I really enjoyed this device. I think for the price, it's right in line with the competition. And I think the app and the way it helps you visualize that data is leaps and bounds ahead of its competition. So maybe with a firmware update or maybe with a different person swinging the club, this will be a little bit more accurate and a little bit more useful. And I can't wait to see that happen. Go in and review this data. Right there on the home screen, you see your past sessions, which is really cool. You've also got your stats there on how far you hit these clubs. Now, as you will see, all of these clubs for me seem to be very short compared to what I normally hit. So for instance, a seven iron, I generally hit my seven iron about 155 yards on the course. Anywhere I'd say really from about 153 to 160, somewhere in there maybe. And here it's telling us 138. And uh, just so you can kind of vary, I will show you that in my Arcos, this is the uh, this is how I hit my clubs and it's been tracking all of those and as you can see here 160 yards is what Arcos has me at this is only after four rounds of data so even some of these are not a hundred percent perfect but in general I hit my seven iron a lot further than 138 so all of these clubs for me are way down as you can see the five iron 144 I generally hit a five iron about 175 but it's very cool that it's there and maybe once I make the tweaks and things, these numbers will be correct. Obviously, this is only after three rounds of data as well. So you got to take everything with a little bit of a grain of salt here, but I'll uh, just show you how this works first. So those are my sessions here. We go back to the uh, sessions tab. You've got your stats tab up here and then you've got your sessions tab and we can literally go into one of these sessions. We'll go to my first session there. I had 45 shots. And this is each and every single shot. You've got your club type, distance, ball speed, club speed, smash factor. What's nice here though is on top in that black area, you've got the dispersion. You can actually see where those shots landed on the range. That is so super cool. And then you can see like peak heights and things there uh, with that screen, just swipe over to get that data. Again, for each of these clubs for that particular session, you've got averages. Now here again, the seven iron 144, that's a little better. This session seemed to be a little bit better. And I do think that setup is really important. Getting that setup perfect is so important. Um, now, one thing I, was, I wanted to see was like, where are my videos? And I couldn't find where my videos were. I was tapping on these things and, and nothing really happened. But it's here, kind of hidden. And maybe it's because my golf course has a super long name, but it's this little icon in the top right of the screen. You can probably see that little green with a flag. If you tap on that, 
This is so cool. This is, you can see I was on like the far right bay of the driving range. You can actually see every single shot I took and where it landed. This is like so next level. I absolutely love it. So let's take one, a couple of these. You can literally click on one of these and you'll get that data for that shot. And then you've got the video icon there towards the bottom right. If you can see that little camera, if you click on that, you can actually see the shot with the shot trace on it. And maybe that was a bad one to choose because that trace was a little weird. Let's try a different one. All in all, most of my traces were accurate, but every once in a while you get sort of an anomaly. Let's try this one here. There it is, there's that nice trace. You can see that turnover, nice little draw there. Also, the wind was pushing a little right to left on the range there. So it was mostly keeping it out of the trees, except for this horrible errant shot. If you want to see one of my shanks. There you go. There's another one there. So I think you get the picture, but really cool. You got this overview visualization. And again, you've got launch angle, launch direction, smash factor, all the good stuff there below. Really cool. Up here, it, you can't really see it either, but top left, there's a little blue arrow that gets you back to, to your entire session there. So I love the way that works. That's so cool. Now you've got this coach feature and I did not use this, but what you can do is you can link up with your coaches um, and actually get maybe get private lessons through this app. I think that's part of their business plan over at Rapsodo is to sort of hook you up with some of these. Here on this explore tab, you can literally see swings other people have taken with this device. These are the most like shots. So it's literally like a social network built into this. Where you can actually see what other people are doing and cry because this guy just hit it 345 yards. Oh, there we go. We know that guy, don't we? It says Art C, but uh, that's not Art C. <laughs> nice little 125 uh, pitching wedge there from the uh, former open champion and you can go through here then you've got your own profile here kind of what clubs are in your bag and some other settings that's the app for you the app is incredible i think it's so user friendly again you've got all of your range sessions here with the clubs you used and I found this app to work really well. I really like this thing. I'm gonna give it a solid 4.0 out of five in terms of technology. Maybe get that accuracy just a little bit better, make it a little easier for you to get that alignment, and I think we've got a winner. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.